Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at people that will make you roll your eyes. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Hey, hello, who's this? Blank gave me your number. She said you 3D print things. Yeah, I do. Are you looking to have something printed? I am. She showed me the wheelbarrows you printed for your wedding. So cute. These ones? Oh, that is pretty cute. Yes, love heart. LOL, yeah, I had to print a ton of those. I'm actually not even finished with them, yet I still have about 30 more to make. Can you make them for me too? Wheelbarrows? Yeah, I can do that. How many did you want? I want to give them out to my guests, so I'll need a lot. Um, okay, well just to give you a heads up, this can get very expensive. I just want to let you know that ahead of time. Like, how expensive? Depends on how many you need, really. I want 250 of them with our initials and wedding date on the side. Oh wow, well just a rough estimate, it would probably come out to be about $3,000. For such a large bulk order, I could probably do it for $2,000 even though. And would likely take me about 2 months to fill this order. What? That's outrageous. $2,000 for little plastic wheelbarrows? Well, they're not plastic. They are made out of resin. And yet, it gets expensive and takes a long time. It would be less expensive if you could find someone to cast the model and make copies that way. I don't know anyone that can do that. You can order tiny wheelbarrows online. They won't be customized though. Can you please give me a deal? I want our date and initials on them. I did give you a deal. Like I said, normally I would estimate this project cost about $3,000. I said I would do it for $2,000. That's actually a pretty good deal and it works out to be $8 each. That's actually not bad. What, does she want them to be a dollar each or something? How about a better deal though? I think you're just trying to rip me off because it's for a wedding. Everyone does this. It's stupid. Actually, no. The wedding has nothing to do with it. The moment you tell something it's for a wedding, it's 10 times the price. You should be able to do this for me for like $100. Wait, she wants $250 of the wheelbarrows and she wants it for $100? She wants one wheelbarrow for $0.25? Cents? This lady crazy. 25, you are kidding me. <laughs> I'm actually pissed. Like, does she not consider the work and the time needed to do this? That just means the person making them gets no profit. I'm so done, I swear. People are so dumb. You have a machine that does all this work for you anyway. It's not like you're making it from hand. What's it cost you? Some electricity? It probably costs you less than a dollar a day to run that machine. Less than a dollar a day? Well, you're not even paying that a dollar a day for them to make it for you, idiot. The cost of these are actually significant. I'll break it down for you if you like. Yes, you do that. It's going to take roughly 50 grams of resin per print. Using one machine, I can print two at a time. Each print takes 10.5 hours. Resin costs me $35 per 1,000 grams. So 50 grams times 125. Two per print is 6,250 grams of resin used times $35 per 1,000 grams is $218.75 for materials. So it costs you $200 and you want to charge me $2,000. See? Scam. Does this person not work? Like, what? Like, imagine buying a sandwich for $5 and insisting it should only cost a dollar because the bread is only 50 cents and the ham's only 25 cents and the egg is only 25 cents, so it should only be a dollar. Yeah, no, it doesn't work like that, okay. I typically charge $2 per hour for printing time. 150 prints at 10.5 hours is 1,312.5 printing hours times $2 is $2,625. I'm not done yet. I also typically charge $15 per print for prep and post processing, placing supports, removal of supports, cleaning the prints, etc. $15 times 125 is $1,875. That's stupid. So the grand total of this job would have been $4,718 with a total of 54.68 days of non-stop printing. That's stupid. Half of what you're charging is coming from printing time where you're not even doing anything but sitting on your butt. I don't even want to read this anymore because it's like just dumber and dumber. Okay, let's just skip a bit. Okay. I'll even give you a few colored lithos, lithos of your wedding photos for free as a wedding gift. How do you say that? 
What is the colored litho? They look like this. It uses light to produce an image. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. Oh uh, yeah, she showed me those. You did it for her too. You gave her all this stuff for free. You should just do the whole thing as a wedding gift. I don't see why you can't. <laughs> um, I don't think this person knows you. Yeah, she's also my best friend. And when I try new things, I usually send her samples of them. Whatever, I'm going to tell her that you're an ass. <laughs> okay, you do that. You know, my best friend, she's going to be my best man at my wedding. I'm her daughter's godfather. Yeah, I'm sure they'll go over well for you. Just make them for me as a gift. It's for my wedding. No, it's too expensive. It takes too long. I can't have a printer down for that long. I also don't even know you. I didn't get an invite to your wedding. This person just doesn't get it, do they? You know? Like... They can't just make it for you for free because that just means the printing machine is going to be occupied and that means they won't be making any money during that time if they're going to make it for you for free. You little idiot. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I swear some people are so dumb. That was a long one, man. That was only one and that's already half the video, okay. Hey everyone, I am looking for an in-home childcare for my two-month-old. I currently work from home, but I need someone to come to my apartment and sit with him during work hours. Must be good with animals. We have two dogs and a cat. Pay is $150 per week. It is Monday to Friday from 8am to 4.30pm. <sighs> I'm so done with people. I'd give you $50. None of these cards are worth anything. Well, if they are worth nothing, then $50 sound like... You will be seriously overpaying. Thanks, but I will pass. <laughs> That's true, eh? They're worth nothing. Then why are you paying $50 for it? Hmm? Looking for a free small dog. I'm looking for a pug, but would love any small dog that needs a home. I like a puppy under six months. Please let me know if you know of any dog that fits the bill. I have called the shelters and can't afford what they want. I have all the love in the world for a dog, but don't have the money to back up my heart. Shame they don't have a way to help when you don't have money. Um, it already sounds like this person shouldn't be having a dog. If you don't have the money to even adopt a dog, you shouldn't be taking care of a dog. Like, seriously. You're just gonna send them back eventually if you don't have money. Dogs are expensive. It's not even like the cost of a dog that's expensive. It's the care of the dog that's expensive. Like vet visits monthly worming their food it's just so sad to have a dog be attached to you and then all of a sudden just because you don't have the money you just send them back you know like that's just not the way to go oh my gosh i just thought about something really sad you know that dog that the family sent to the shelter and then the family came back to adopt another dog that actually pisses me off so much and it was so sad because the dog was like so happy to see you know it's family again and they adopted another dog and didn't even take him home oh my gosh my heart i can't i can't deal with people yo that's that Oh my gosh, when I saw that, I was like crying for so long. And I think the dog eventually got adopted by someone else because, you know, they just felt so bad. Oh, it's this one. Abandoned dog that watched his family adopt another pet. You're messed up. You guys are messed up, honestly. Dude, why do I cry so easily over dog things, dude? <laughs> Pissed at myself. Put a car for sale for $1,000. It needs work, but runs. Made it clear I'm open to negotiations because it sucks. Get offer $500 and negotiating. Get another offer from a single mom in a rough patch for $100. Okay, I'll give back and take a bigger hit than I wanted. Lady's brother gets there and offers $50. Just goes to show if you offer someone a whole foot they'll still try to take the mile. Wait, what? They were so nice and we're gonna give it for a hundred dollars but then the lady's brother was like discount it even more. Um, it went from a thousand dollars to a hundred dollars and now you want it to go to fifty dollars? You guys don't deserve that car, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> They're not even thankful, that's the thing that pisses me off. Like if I was the person selling the car, I wouldn't even want to give it to them anymore because they're just not grateful, you know? They, they're, they're still knocking off the price when you already knocked off $900. Bro! 
stop it. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.